What is this anyway? It looks like crab claws or something. This is Anna's skin. Let's put it on. Oh, it seems to me that we are not quite like her. Oh my god, this is the best skin in this game. Oh, look. These are capybaras in the pond. It looks like we've reached mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Obby Frozen. Here you need to buy skins for money. I think it's very expensive. Let's see. Maybe there is an opportunity to get some skin for free. This is Anna's skin. Let's put it on. Oh, it seems to me that we are not quite like her. I think I see the best skin here. Dad will definitely like him. Is this Olaf? Oh my god, this is the best skin in this game. Just look at how funny he moves his arms when he walks. Okay, I think with this skin we can start playing Obby. You just need to understand where the beginning is. And here it is. Great. Well, let's start going through it. It seems to me that the first task is quite easy. Yes, it seems to me that this whole game will be easy. Now let's go through this obby with flowers. Wait, what? It turns out we were not allowed to stand on this flower floor. We need to jump on these flowers. Wait, is it just me? Or is this the first obby where the main obstacle isn't lava or acid? Yes, I was surprised too when I realized this. Oh, look, these are capybaras in the pond. Okay, looks like we need to take the right route here. But this task already looks quite difficult because there are a lot of capybaras here and we will have to really guess the optimal route. Well, okay. Now we know that first you need to jump on the first one, then on the second one, and after that on the third capybara. And in general, it's quite strange that there are capybaras here because I don't remember them being in the cartoon. Oh, look! I passed this obby. And now we have to jump on these donkeys. Good thing we don't have to choose the right route here. Yes, it seems to me that the last test was quite hardcore, but it trains your memory very well. Well, this test with donkeys was quite simple. And now, um, what? We need to jump onto these strange sun loungers that for some reason are suspended here. Sand and sun loungers? I think this is quite a summer theme. I don't understand how it can be connected with Elsa. Maybe she actually loves all this very much. But in the cartoon, she just doesn't talk about it. There are also jet skis here. Are we in Barry's water prison escape? Okay, let's just jump over them and move on. In general, this seems really quite strange to me. Here in the next test is a pool with a lot of inflatable balls. It looks like some kind of water park in the winter or something like that. Now I understand why we are here alone, because no sane person would go to a water park in winter. There's simply nothing to do there at this time of year. Now we need to cross this rather strange bridge in the water. Well, this test is also quite easy. But then we need to jump on these small palm trees through this sand. It feels like we're a giant jumping through trees. It doesn't really look like palm trees at all. It looks more like some kind of flowers or something like that. Although it is quite strange that flowers grow in sand. Usually only cacti grow in sand. Now we need to go through these... Um, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of rake or something similar to it. I do not know what is this. Now we need to jump on these strange pyramids in the water. Oh, it seems to me that this is not such an easy test as it might seem at first glance. It's even unusual to see Bluey lose. Is this test really that hard? It seems to me that the distance between these inflatable pyramids is quite large. That's why she doesn't always manage to jump on them the first time. But it looks like she managed to get through it. And now let's jump on these inflatable rings that float in the pool. It really seems very strange to me that everything here is done in a summer style. Perhaps the developers of this map simply unscrupulously copied someone else's obby and put a snow texture around it. In any case, these are both quite interesting because there are really very difficult tests in which sometimes even you have difficulties. I like this game very much. There are some inflatable slides in the pool. It seems to me that this is really a very summer game. I already have a desire to be in the pool now in the heat. There is just over a month left until summer, and so I think that very soon you will be able to find yourself in the pool. 
Now, let's concentrate on completing this game. It looks like several palm trees have fallen here. Maybe there was a storm here? This is quite possible because I don't see any other logical reason for these trees to fall. And now we need to jump across these strange platforms. In fact, I really like that the developers of this game didn't add acid or lava here because I'm already pretty tired of them. Yes, I completely agree with you. Now we need to go through this incomprehensible rake again, and then a bridge in the water awaits us ahead. That wooden bridge again? We've already been through the same thing. Well, I think this is the easiest test in this game. Let's get through it quickly. We are already at the 17th stage. I wonder how many of them there are in total. By the way, there is finally some kind of winter theme here, because now we were jumping on ice cream. These strange things we are walking on now really infuriate me. I still can't figure out what it is. It looks a lot like a rake, but I have no idea what it actually is. Okay, now let's go over these yellow palm trees. Yellow palms? Such things do not even exist in nature. Look, more yellow palm trees. I think there are too many of these trees in this game. Why didn't they use something else? For example, Christmas trees. What is this anyway? It looks like crab claws or something. It seems to me that the developers of this game have a very strange fantasy. Okay, we're already at stage 22 and we're really going through this game very quickly. Looks like the real challenge in this game is over. I'm very interested to know how many stages there are in this game because so far we're getting through it pretty quickly. Look, Bluey is a little stuck. She couldn't jump on that red jet ski. Good thing he's behind now. Okay, now we need to jump on these rocks to get to the other end of this pond. I think this task will not be very difficult. You've already completed more than half of this test. There are only a few jumps left. Great! Now let's jump on those green platforms. It seems to me that these tasks are the easiest. Looks like this is the end of this game, but for some reason it doesn't teleport us back and some error appears. Well, let's move on to the next game. This is a huge robot dog 9000! This milk gives us super energy and burning legs. By the way, look! Ben again, and this time his eyes are burning. Just look! It's Talking Tom the Cat with a Club! Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today we will run away from the house of the evil dog. Watch out, Bluey! But it doesn't matter. This guy is still sleeping. By the way, I know what kind of dog this is. This is a friend of Talking Tom the Cat. Yes, exactly, it's him. True, I forgot a little what his name is. Maybe Bean or Bard? I do not remember exactly. Ben. Guys, his name is Ben. Try to be respectful of other people's names. Exactly! Ben, and I completely forgot his name. I remember him from the iShow Speed videos where he barked at him into the phone. Yes, exactly. These videos are very funny. I really like the way this guy reacted to this dog. By the way, look! It's the same bridge challenge as in Barry's Prison Break. I think here we can use the same life hack and use only one board. It seems to me that with the help of this life hack, we can complete this game very quickly. This is very cool. I think this game reminds me of some other Roblox mode, but I can't figure out which one. I'm pretty sure this isn't Barry's Prison Break. It seems to me that several other modes will be mixed in this mode. Look, it's a spiral staircase with pipes. We have already seen such a task in the Papa Pizza Pizzeria and in the Carnival of Terror. Exactly. This is where this task comes from. I remember that we have already encountered him. Well, now we'll come down from this ventilation and just look. It's Talking Tom the Cat with a club. By the way, this location is very similar to the location from Escape from Betty. This cat Tom looks too aggressive. It's good that he's stupid enough to get stuck in the wall and not catch up with us. Is he really stuck in the wall? Well, it seems that this cat has not sharpened his cat sense, and he has not learned to navigate in space. Let's now escape from him through this ventilation. I wonder what task we will see in the next place. I already really like this game because it contains quite interesting tasks. Yes, I really like this game too. Oh, just look. This is a mission that involved escaping from a family of cops. Well, let's jump down and move on. We can click on something in the wall? Looks like it was just a bug. 
Okay, let's open the door and find ourselves in the next room. Again, a location where you need to climb up the ventilation pipe? Well, okay, it seems that there are some problems with the imagination of the developers. But I hope that we won't have to go through such locations so often because they are quite boring. I think we'll find out after we go through this ventilation. Let's do it! Oh, just look. This is exactly the test that was in Escaping from Betty. I remembered him. It was definitely there. Well, this task is not so boring. There is really quite difficult parkour here, but I think that we can pass it with ease because we have already passed it several times. I think we can have no doubt that Bluey will be able to do it the first time because she is a real professional in completing parkour. I haven't seen her lose in such easy tests for a long time. That's for sure. But I think that you should not praise me so much. Because of this, I can relax a little and allow myself to make a few stupid mistakes. The most difficult part of this parkour is behind you, so you definitely won't make any mistakes. Now let's climb into this ventilation and see what tests the developers have prepared for us next. Bridges again? Seriously? Remember what I said that they have problems with imagination? So I'm ready to repeat this again. It seems to me that this task with bridges was unnecessary. It was enough to add some kind of obby with lasers or something like that. It seems to me that your love for lasers is too unhealthy. This task was also pretty good, even though they weren't there. By the way, look! Ben again, and this time his eyes are burning. He finally woke up and is running after us, but he definitely won't be able to catch up with us. I hope he doesn't know how to climb pipes. Fortunately, no. Why did he really give up so easily? Okay, thanks to this, we will escape from him into the ventilation as soon as possible and find ourselves in the next location. I actually really like this game. Wait, what? Did we really fall down the stairs and hit our heads on the closet? I hope that everything is fine with us and that we haven't lost a single unit of health. It seems to me that after this, there should definitely be a concussion. Well, let's now pass these tests. Oh, just look. These are the trampolines on which we have to jump. But I think these trampolines are too bad because they allow us to jump very high. I didn't think that this test seemed so difficult for Bluey, but just look. The second time she coped with this test perfectly. Well, and now we are going to another ventilation. I think there are too many vents in this game. I noticed this too. It seems to me that this game should be called Escape Through a Thousand Ventilations instead of Evil Dog's House. I remember a similar test was in the escape from a women's prison. But down there at the bottom of this location, a female robot cop was still patrolling the area. Another ventilation? Lord, how much can you do? Oh, look. This is vending with some super milk. This milk gives us super energy and burning legs. And now we will undergo tests similar to the energy drink test in Barry's prison break. I really like the burning legs effect we got. Because of this, it really seems as if we are moving at super speed. This test is very similar to what we went through in Escape from Betty, and I think we are now very close to the final boss. I wonder who it will be. I think it would be very logical if the final boss is Ben, because the game is called Escape from the Evil Dog, isn't it? This sounds quite logical. Well, now we will climb up this wind tunnel and find out. This climb is too long. They didn't even add lasers. It seems to me that if they were here, Dad would be very pleased. Here's the next room. Well, this is the room in front of the boss, and now we will find out who it is. This is a huge robot dog 9000. Oh, it seems to me that we are throwing some kind of red glowing sticks at him that are flying very slowly. Everything here looks like it's in slow motion. I'm talking about the flight of projectiles and the movement of this robot dog. Looks like we're doing 80 damage to him with every shot. This means we only have a couple of shots left. Great. I defeated him with ease. It seems to me that this was one of the easiest bosses in games. He didn't even try to attack me. And now we will escape from here on this huge red ATV. I wonder why they decided to make his model so huge. It's too big for us and we won't even be able to control it. And we left here. Great. By the way, we completed this game in just 419 seconds, which seems very fast to me. We might even be on the record table, but unfortunately, she is not in this game. I think that no one handled this game faster than us. Well, now let's move on to the next game. 
It looks like this turtle is not a ninja turtle at all, because she doesn't have enough speed to catch us. It's Donatello. It's strange that Donatello is holding a torch and not a stick, because a stick is a more familiar weapon for him. I think we can order pizza without his help. For now, let's just concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Looks like we're going to be without ice cream today, because the final boss is Leonardo. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles prison. We already see Raphael. Well, this will be the first boss we will meet. Now let's go through the first tests. I absolutely loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. I watch this cartoon every day. I hope that all four bosses here will be in the form of different Ninja Turtles. It would be amazing. My favorite Ninja Turtle was Michelangelo because she was very funny and loved pizza as much as I love it. And I really love Donatello because he fights with a staff, and it seems to me that this is the most powerful weapon of all. And here comes Raphael. I wonder why they decided to leave the club in his hand instead of giving him the says he had. I'm also interested in this question. It would be really cool if they actually gave him the weapon he had. It looks like this turtle is not a ninja turtle at all, because she doesn't have enough speed to catch us. Maybe they bought too much pizza for their pizza party, and then they got really fat and started farting a lot. Maybe you're right, because this Raphael was too fat. Well, now we'll end up in a room with toilets after we cross this iron bridge. I really think it's weird that they decided to make the Ninja Turtles as prison guards in this game because they've always been superheroes. And an even stranger is that we are now going to the Obby Dungeon through the toilet. In general, we should end up in the sewers where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live. But they changed the design of this dungeon very coolly. It really looks like it's a sewer that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live in. Red puddles on the red bridge? Looks like there was a very brutal fight here. Let's quickly pass by it and go forward. It would be very cool if we saw Teacher Splinter or Shredder here. I would be very happy if we fought the Shredder as the final boss. I think she should hope so, because this is the prison of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This means that all the guards here will be the turtles themselves. Do you remember that April O'Neil was also there? It would be cool to meet her here too. She is a very cool character because she constantly helped the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't you get tired of saying their names in full? Okay, let's go upstairs and see who the next boss will be. It's Donatello. It's strange that Donatello is holding a torch and not a stick because a stick is a more familiar weapon for him. What stick are you talking about? He always fought with a staff. But his torch has a purple flame that matches the color of his headband. It seems to me that if he had a staff in his hands, we would not be able to escape from him so easily. But we overcame this boss and are now heading up these dilapidated steps. I still really hope that we actually see Shredder here as the final boss of this game because I've dreamed of beating him since I was a kid. I didn't know that you were such a fighter at heart. Well, now I also hope that the final boss will be Shredder because I really want to see how you react to him. Seriously, are we stuck? Oh my god, how could this even happen? Okay, let's restart. This has never happened to us before. I see this bug for the first time. Maybe we should be more careful when we go up this elevator. I think we will definitely learn this lesson. Now let's go through this exciting race with energy drinks. I just love this task. I liked the energy drink run from Barry's Prison Break 2 much better because it had lasers and platforms that allowed us to jump. It was really very interesting. I would like to see this added to the first version of Barry's Prison Escape. Wait, have you already played it? Oh no, don't tell me you played it without us. We agreed to play for me all together. Sorry guys, but I couldn't resist a little because I watched a video on YouTube that had the gameplay of this game and I really liked it. I wanted to go in and watch it just a little, but in the end, I finished it completely, and I liked it very much. Oh no! Now you will know what this game looks like. It's very sad because I was hoping that we would play it for the first time all together. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, she only spoiled a small part of this game for us. But as far as I heard, there are a lot of interesting innovations. So we will see them together again. I just can't wait for you all to play this game together. For now, let's focus on continuing to play through this game. I think that there is no point in concentrating too much here because this is the same boring title with valves that I simply hate. 
Sometimes it seems to me that I would even donate Robux just to skip this task. You dealt with two valves pretty quickly. I think we should stop being angry at this task because it's just part of the game that you just need to complete and move on. Moreover, if this task were not there, it seems to me that this game would be too short. Yes, I completely agree with her. We completed this task in less than a minute. Now we are moving on. There is nothing complicated about it. It just needed to turn the valves, and now we need to run through these pipes in order to run the ventilation and go to the test where there will be a race with fans. The race with the fans is much more interesting than the task with the valves, because every time the developers of this map bring many interesting innovations to this task. Sometimes, though, they make the distance between the platforms too small, due to which this building becomes too light and pointless. And but in this task, the distance between the platforms was quite large, and it was a little difficult for me to complete it, but I dealt with it pretty quickly. Now I need to take a jump in this wind tunnel. You made the jump again on the first try. Great! You did it! Let's see who will be the boss chef in this game. This is Michelangelo. However, it is not surprising that he is here in the role of the chef's boss, because he loves to eat more than anyone else. Quickly, grab this gun and let's defeat him as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, after we defeat him, we won't be able to taste the delicious pizza that he can cook for us. I think we can order pizza without his help. For now, let's just concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Only two shots left. Come on, Bluey, great, you beat him. Well, there are only two challenges left before the final boss. I still really hope that it will be Schroeder so that Dad will be happy. If the final boss in this game really turns out to be Shredder, right after we beat this game, we will go and buy everyone ice cream. I promise. Now, I want to see the final boss even more. And this is not because I really want ice cream. Although, no, perhaps for this very reason. Look! They added red glowing frames around the lasers. I wonder if they also cause us damage. But I don't want to check this because I want to quickly get to the final location. Only two lasers left. I would really like to be able to speed up here with the help of some object. But unfortunately, we always fly at the same speed. Great. We got to the task with bridges, and now we will go through it quickly with the help of our life hack. I'm very glad that we came up with this life hack because with it we don't have to run back and forth across these bridges. Instead, we use just one. Well, now we will see the final boss. Looks like we're going to be without ice cream today because the final boss is Leonardo. Well, that was pretty logical because he was always the leader of the team. And this is the fourth of all the Ninja Turtles that we have not yet seen in this game. I hope Dad is not too upset because I really wanted to see Schroeder here, too. Well, anyway, it's really cool that they actually added all four turtles to this game. I'm actually not too upset because it really makes sense that we should have seen all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't worry, I'll still buy you all ice cream. Then I'm also not very upset that we saw him here and we move on to the next game. And here comes Elsa! <gasps> Kristoff is trying very hard to catch up with us, but he won't succeed because we run much faster than him. This time Anna runs out of HP very slow. We will deal with her not so quickly. Maybe it's because it's hard mode? Finally, she's don't stuck in one place and running after us. Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Elsa's prison. We already escaped from it once, but today we will escape from this prison in hard mode. I wonder what's the difference between hard mode and normal mode? Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. I can already see that there are lasers on the way. Look, in addition to lasers, there are also mines. They made this game difficult even at the very beginning. But even with these challenges, the blues are doing pretty well. Look, these platforms are moving. It's very difficult, but she still does it very easily. There are really a lot of difficult challenges in this game. Even these lasers that close the ventilation. I really like playing this game better on hard mode. And here comes Elsa! <gasps> I can already see that there is a huge laser on top here that will interfere with our progress in this game. It's a good thing they didn't add movement speed for Elsa. Otherwise, she would definitely catch us. Now we need to cross this bridge without the laser hitting us. But just look how professionally she passes this test. I don't think I would have been able to do it the first time. So let's go into this ventilation and see what awaits us in the room with toilets. Did they add a new test even there? 
It looks like there are no tests in this room. Everything looks exactly the same as in normal mode. Let's now dig a tunnel into Obby's dungeon. There was some kind of lava on the bridge. Well, these platforms look the same as always. And here, the map creators didn't decide to add anything complicated. But lava has appeared on the bridge and is gushing straight from this bridge. I think there is nothing difficult in passing this test. It's enough to just wait until the lava stops gushing and we'll move on. Great! We did it! I see that in the next test they added some spears. It seems to me that this test will be very difficult. The main thing is not to rush too much, because these spears come out of the wall very quickly. But Bluey still managed to get through it and we move on. In fact, this game actually feels more hardcore due to the fact that we started playing it on hard mode. There are really a lot of new challenges here, which have made this game more difficult to complete. But in this task with the rolling boulder, I don't feel like they made it any more difficult. Now we will find ourselves in a location where we will need to run away from Boss Kristoff. Interesting. They also complicated it. It looks like this mission looks exactly the same. Okay, let's escape from this guy so that he can't catch us and put us in this prison. Kristoff is trying very hard to catch up with us, but he won't succeed because we run much faster than him. Cool. We got to the tower with dilapidated steps, and now let's go up. It's strange that the developers didn't make climbing this tower any more difficult. They could have added lasers, mines, or something like that. But instead, she remained the same. Well, now we'll go upstairs, start the race with energy drinks, and find out how he was changed. Here comes the energy drink vending machine. Just look how they changed this location. She's all covered in snow and all in blue. They also added some snow-covered trees here. It looks really very similar to the cartoon Frozen. Yes, I also really like the way they worked on the design of this level. I have never seen a snow theme anywhere in any of the modes in Barry Prison Break. Great. We are almost done with running with energy drinks. And now we need to climb the stairs, and now there will be our least favorite task in this game. Namely, installing the stairs. I really hope that I will be able to climb this ladder on the first try because this task is really very long. The main thing is to focus on the fact that you will definitely be able to do it. You've already figured out a way by which you can jump straight to the top without any problems. Great! We climbed to the top. Well, now we need to cross this bridge so that we don't get blown away by the fan. By the way, look at this! They replaced all the spikes with icicles. These icicles glow blue so cool. I like it very much. Here in this level, they changed the whole design very cool. They even repainted many of the platforms blue. I really feel like we're in Elsa's world. Now I need to quickly deal with these valves and go upstairs in order to move on to the task with the race with the fans. I wonder how they changed this task. I don't think they made it any more complicated. Seriously? I was right. They actually decided to keep the most boring task in this game the same. Well, okay, let's just get through it and move on to the next task. Maybe they changed them somehow. I really hope that they really changed them because so far this mode is practically no different from easy. Perhaps we will complete it even faster than completing the easy mode. It really annoys me that there really is nothing complicated here. We really wanted Bluey to improve her obby skills. But here we can't do it. They even changed the design of the ventilation. This looks very cool. Wow, just look. There was a downed snow tree. It's good that we didn't crash into it. Otherwise, we would not have been able to go further. They also repainted the platforms blue. Well, this looks really very cool. There is also a snow tree here. Well, this is very cool. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Great. I managed to do it. Now I need to go through this vent, and we will see who will be the next chef boss. It's Anna! Wow! I'm glad to see her again. But it's a shame we won't see Olaf here. Dad loves this character very much, and he would really like to see him in this game. Maybe they will meet him the final boss here? I really hope so, too! By the way, just look. This time Anna runs out of HP very slow. We will deal with her not so quickly. Maybe it's because it's hard mode? I think so, too. Even headshots don't help us kill her faster. Well, let's revolve around it. Cool! We killed her. Actually, I thought it would be a little more difficult. Now let's go down this slide. 
By the way, it is also decorated in the form of an ice slide. The creators of this map put a lot of work into what they did. Now we need to pass two tests and we will see who will be the final boss in this game. It would be really cool if we could get through this as soon as possible. We're moving fast enough. Yes, we do it pretty quickly, even though it's hard mode. And here is the task with lasers. Too bad they didn't change the color of these lasers to blue again. But I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's just quickly climb to the very top of this wind tunnel and move on to the final task before the boss fight. Well, we passed this task very easily. Now let's complete the task with bridges as quickly as possible with the help of our new life hack. I think we can complete this task pretty quickly. The main thing is to take one of the bridges and use only one of them. Otherwise, you will have to start completing this task from the very beginning, and we will lose a lot of time on this. Great! We managed to do it all quite easily. All that remains is to enter the location with the final boss. And here comes the final boss, Elsa Robot. Finally, she's don't stuck in one place and running after us. Oh my god, I like it so much. Well, okay, let's defeat this boss very quickly. It will be very easy because she doesn't even shoot. Oops, looks like I was wrong. Well, she only shot with one hand and there is no way she can hit us because we are maintaining a safe distance. It was very easy. I really like this game because the design of the locations is very well done and everything is very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. It looks like he's trying to get to know us, but it seems to me that we don't need such friends. I think their tails are too small. This is some kind of gang of noob cats. That long pink tail looks like it's a rat's tail, not a cat's. Let's stand and meow with them. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we got a tail. Seriously, tail? Have we turned into a cat or something? It looks very cute. Let's see what we can do in this location. Wow, we can sit on these pillars like cats. It looks very funny. Just look at the tail of this guy next to us. He clearly has a much larger tail than ours. Where do they get such big tails? We need to find a way to make our tail bigger. To be honest, we need to find some test or something where our tail can grow. Well, let's get to it. You need to carefully look for something in this location. Where did our leg go? What? Why is this function here at all? Apparently. Using the second button, we can remove our head. Just look at our hairstyle. For some reason, she teleported upward. Okay, using the third button, we can choose the animation of our tail. What else can we meow if we press the H button? It's cool that we can even choose an animation for our tail. Look, there are some red balls in the distance. Wow, we can play with them. It's very cool. But we just touched this ball and it rolled somewhere much faster than us. I hope he doesn't fall over the edge of this location. Now we will try to do this. After all, real cats love to throw all sorts of objects off tables, and we will try to do the same. It seems that there is an invisible wall here that does not allow this. Oh no, it looks like this invisible wall is only for balls. I still can't figure out where we can get a long tail. Maybe we can find out from them. I'm more interested in how we can run like a cat Let's find out how to do it, because we can't do it. This guy says we need to hold down the shift button. Well, let's try to do that. Oh, we really started running like a cat. Cool, but it looks a little too slow. Either way, it looks really fun. Look, there's some cat in the distance with two tails. Let's run up to him and look at him. It looks like this is just a couple of cats in love standing here and having fun. Look how funny this guy dances. Cool, but let's not disturb them. Let's bring this giant ball to other cats so we can all play with it together. Oh no! This ball is running away from us! It is very difficult to catch up with him because he moves at the same speed. Do the creators of this map even know what physics is? We managed to catch up with him. Cool! Now let's send him rolling towards Spawn. I think the other cats will be very happy. Great! We rolled it to Spawn, and now let's play with one of the other cats with this ball. Looks like no one is interested in playing with him. Well, I guess we should work on finding a way to make our tail bigger then. I think we need to communicate with them in their own language. Let's stand and meow with them. Okay, we've learned everything we need, and now we'll find a way to make our tail bigger. He told us to talk to the guys who live beyond the edge of the map. It looks like it's them. Let's go to them. It seems to me that we will not be able to jump to them. They are too far away. Maybe they can give us a big tail with some magic. 
They say that we need to jump down and we will get our tail. Let's do that. What? Our tail hasn't changed at all. But why? These guys tricked us. I think there must definitely be some way to get a huge cat tail. We should ask other cats about this. Let's try to find this tail in the forest first. Maybe someone who gives these tails is hiding somewhere under the tree. It looks like this is an ordinary forest and we should ask other players about the big tail. They should definitely help us with this. Oh no, they took her tail and now she doesn't look like a cat. You need to ask her where her tail is. Perhaps she actually knows how to change her tail, or who can help us with this? They say that you can turn it off in the settings, but we couldn't find it. Maybe we were just looking poorly? Okay, let's go to the settings and try to change it, but we can't do anything. We were told that we need to click on the tail twice, but our animations just change. Our tail doesn't get any bigger. I really don't understand how to do this. We click on the tail icon, but all we can do is change its animation. Maybe we need to pay extra to change it. It seems these long-tailed guys have come to tease us. That long pink tail looks like it's a rat's tail, not a cat's, or a sphinx cat. Well, you know, cats that are hairless. It seems to me that there should definitely be a function here. We finally found a way to do it. It turns out there was also a button on top and we can customize our tail completely. Here you can change its color or turn it off altogether. You can also change the time of day to choose day or night. We finally have a giant black tail. Oh my god, this looks very cool. We can run like a cat with a huge black tail. Just look at the way he moves. Now, we finally really look like a cool long-tailed cat and can run around this entire location. Cool! I would really like to change the color of this tail, but for now, we can only make it black or gray. I think now we can join the gang of these cool cats because now we also have a huge black tail. I think their tails are too small. This is some kind of gang of noob cats. But let's ask them why their tails are so small. But this guy on the left post looks extremely, um, strange. I wouldn't want to communicate with him at all. Just look what he's doing now. It looks like he's trying to get to know us, but it seems to me that we don't need such friends. Let's leave them for another group of cats. This guy is sitting here all alone. I think we can make friends with him, but he also looks pretty weird. He has an atypical face for Roblox. It seems to me that he is also trying to make friends with us. It looks pretty weird. He has an expression on his face as if he is very surprised. Well, let's sit on the next post and wait for someone to join our gang of cats. It seems to me that this is pointless, because no one will want to join our gang, and we'll move on to the next game. And now we go straight into the mouth of this clown. He looks very creepy. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? Buddy, aren't you tired of running after all the players here? He keeps trying to catch up with us. I think he's a little stupid. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play this very creepy circus again. It turns out that last time we didn't completely complete this game, we missed several levels. This time we know how to get through it, but I'm still wondering what kind of secret levels await us. How could we even miss several levels? It seems to me that this is impossible. Our subscribers wrote to us that these levels should have been after we entered the clown's mouth. But for some reason they weren't there. God, last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. How is it even possible that we are jumping on balls? Do we weigh two grams? That's right, I forgot. This is Roblox. There's no logic here. These pipes will be a fairly easy test. We'll get through it pretty quickly. I really want to beat this game today faster than I did last time because it seems to me that I already have enough skill to pass all these tests quite quickly. Yes, I also really hope that you will be able to complete this game faster today but it seems to me that there are some tests in which it is better not to rush. Otherwise, we may lose. Okay, the challenges at the very beginning of this game are quite simple. The most difficult test will begin after we jump into the portal. Although, in fact, we still don't know what secret tests await us. The most important thing now is not to relax so much that we start losing in these easy tests. On this spiral staircase with pipes, we also need to be very careful because it's quite difficult to climb up it. Don't worry, Mom. I will cope with this test as easily as possible because I have already climbed such stairs many times. They are often found in such scary games, and I have already trained my climbing skill on them. I have already said many times that these pipes look quite unsafe. 
but in real life, I would be very afraid to walk through them because it seems to me that it is very difficult to maintain balance on them. Bluey, as always, copes with this task with ease and we move on to the next room. I even forgot that there are circular saws waiting for us here. Have we really just gone through the pipe? It seems to me that this is a small flaw from the developers, but it's very cool that thanks to this, we were able to pass this test faster. So let's climb up these stairs. I wonder what will await us here. Oh, that's a giant Ferris wheel. I completely forgot about him. That scary clown must be here. And here he is. Buddy, aren't you tired of running after all the players here? You are not able to catch up with absolutely anyone. But he does not lose hope. Look, he keeps trying to catch up with us. I think he's a little stupid if he doesn't understand that since we're going upstairs, that means he can't kill us. Okay, now we will rise on this wheel to the very top, and then we will need to cross this very thin wooden bridge. Last time we couldn't do it the first time. I am sure that this time I will be able to do it on the first try because I have already trained a lot. In games like this, it was pretty easy. Now I need to jump on these balls, and then we will go to this huge attraction. I have always been afraid of drop rides because I am very afraid of heights, and it always seems to me that when this ride is at the very bottom, I might accidentally fly out of it. It seems to me that I would never sit in such a drop ride in my life because we know that there is lava down there. But in general, it seems to me that at the very bottom, it is very hot there. Okay. We finally went down, and now we have some pretty tough tests ahead of us before we enter the portal. I remember that it was very difficult for us to pass them last time, and we didn't manage to do it the first time. These falling blade challenges aren't that hard, but swinging two clubs is really one of the most difficult tasks in this game, and it is better to complete it from the side. It's very cool that you already have tactics for passing these tests. By the way, it's funny that the texture of one of these clubs passed through us but didn't knock us into the abyss. Now we will enter this portal and a really difficult test awaits us, especially this bridge. Who even came up with the idea of making such an unsafe bridge? It's impossible to walk on it. It seems to me that the creatures that live here do not need bridges. It seems to me that they are flying above them or something like that. These weird flying fire things always amaze me. Where do they get fuel from and why do they shoot fire? It looks pretty strange. I think we could come up with some more interesting model. It seems to me very pointless to blame the developers because they made a really very interesting game that is much more interesting than Barry's Prison Escape. I especially like the fact that there are speed races here too. This game is much more interesting to play with them. This test is really very exciting because here we develop a speed that is even greater than in Barry's Prison Escape. I also like the challenges in which we are given a super high jump because it's really something new. By the way, here it is. I also really like the fact that they decided to give superpowers here using portals. It really looks very cool. I especially like the visual effects that are added to our character, like the blue lighting of his legs. Great! Here's the last jump! Now we need to go through this yellow portal. Run up and jump straight into the Vulcan, after which we will find ourselves near the clown's house. Now we will pass the very tests that we did not pass last time. I'm very interested to see how difficult they are. And now we go straight into the mouth of this clown. He looks very creepy. Look, this is one of those tasks that we missed. But how did that door teleport us right to the very end last time? To be honest, I can't even imagine how this could happen. It really looks like some kind of clown magic. This task was actually quite easy. Perhaps this clown just decided that we were too cool for such simple tasks. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? I can't imagine how much of a noob you have to be to step into one of these traps. They are really gigantic. It's just hard not to notice them. Okay, we've passed it. Now we find ourselves again in the task that we have already completed. This task was indeed quite difficult. Well, I think we can handle it on the first try. Just look how quickly Bluey goes through all this. It's as if she was born to play this game. I don't remember this task exactly, but it seems to me that this task will be more difficult than the previous ones. Well, let's go through it as quickly as possible. 
I hope this is the last secret mission from the clown. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. I think that moonwalk really helped me get through that level. Well, let's just head for the door now and see what happens next. Bluey, have you forgotten? This is the end of the game. We've been here before. Okay, I thought these secret levels would be much more difficult. Guys, have you really forgotten? We are about to fall off it because it is not completed. I think you need to eat more carrots to strengthen your memory. I completely agree with you, Dad. I think I need to make some carrot cake after we beat this game. Carrot cake? Seriously? Do you think I look like a rabbit or a hare? For example, I really like carrot cake. It is really very tasty and sweet, despite the fact that carrots are a vegetable. I didn't know you liked vegetables so much. Perhaps our daughter will become the first vegetarian dog in the world. By the way, we completed this game, and it seems to me that this time we completed it much faster. Let's move on to the next game. And here is the first boss pomni. Wait, is it me, or has she stopped running after us? It seems to me that she is very irresponsible about her work. It seems to me that now we will fall straight into the clutches of Pomni. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the new Pomni's prison. Wow, she looks very beautiful here. Let's see if the locations in this game will be beautiful. I'm very interested in whether they added Kane to this game this time. Or were he still deprived as in the last game? Wow, look! There's some kind of secret door here. This is cool because I have never seen this door open. This obby looks different from the previous ones. Another secret room. Wow, the developers of this game really did a good job. It's a pity that there is nothing useful in these rooms. Just cubes and barrels. We can't just get into this vent. To do this, we need to take this wrench, and we're inside. Great. Wow, just look at the design. They even added curtains here and some kind of Wheel of Fortune. And here is the first Boss Pomni. Just look how much they changed this location. Wow. Wait, is it me, or has she stopped running after us? Um, seriously? It seems to me that she is very irresponsible about her work. Let's go ahead and explore this location. Wait, did they remove this bridge and just make a second floor here that you need to run around? This looks pretty interesting. I wonder how they changed the room with toilets. Let's go into this vent and find out. This vent is completely white. It looks cool. I don't think it looks like a room with toilets at all. It looks more like some kind of game room. There's even a trampoline with slides. Cool. We find ourselves in the Obby Dungeon. It's made in the shape of a Gloin Queen's nest. There are even stars that glow on the walls. That's very beautiful. In cartoon, this place seems very scary to me. But here, it looks really incredibly beautiful. It's strange that there is lava here because in the real nest of the Gloin Queen, there is none. Yes, it would be very cool if instead of lava, they added an abyss that is teeming with gloinks. But I think that even so, it looks pretty nice. They even added stars here and made the walls white. In fact, I like it better when this room is very bright. And by the way, they also remade the rolling boulder and made it white with red cracks. I really hope that they remade that same boring task with the valves and made it more interesting. But now we will meet the second boss and find out who it is. Let's see. It's Jax. Just look at this funny skinny Jax. He runs pretty slow. His gait is as if he is going to the grocery store and not trying to catch up with an escaped criminal. Yes, it looks like the creators of this map decided to make fun of him a little and made his gait as goofy as possible. Well, let's now climb up this tower and go to the energy drink race. Is it just me, or did they decide to add these glowing stars to absolutely all locations? But I don't mind it because it really looks very nice. Just look at how many paintings there are here. I really like how responsibly the creators of this map approach decorating this tunnel with various paintings. Wow, they even changed this location. They added a lot of stars here and made a separate room for the vending machine. Yes, this location looks really cool. By the way, we have now started a race with energy drinks, and it has changed a lot. It looks very nice, and there are a lot of new platforms here. It seems to me that now this is one of my favorite modes in Roblox, because I have never seen such beautiful locations. I completely agree with you! It's clear that the creators put a lot of effort into creating this location! I 
wish it was a little longer, but we're already past it. They even changed the location where the stairs need to be installed under the ventilation. They installed it themselves. This is great. I really like the attention to detail in this game. There are a lot of innovations here, but I really still really hope that the task with the valves was at least slightly changed. It seems to me that they didn't change it because this task with the bridge and the fan remained absolutely the same. But here they painted the pipes a different color, and because of this, the location looks really more interesting. I'm still very interested in when they will add a bubble to this game, because so far I haven't seen Gangle Bubble and Kafmo here. By the way, yes! I also thought it was quite strange because they are really weren't in this game yet, but I really hope that we will definitely meet them. Maybe one of them will be here as the chef's boss. I think it's very sad for them to realize that they weren't added here. I think we'll find out very soon. Great! We turned on the third valve and now we are going to the ventilation. I'm very glad that we are done with this tedious task. I'm really interested to see how they changed the fan run. I really hope they made the distance between the platforms quite large. I hope they really did it, because in previous maps, this challenge was so easy that we didn't even need to jump. I think there's something glowing there. Oh, this is the golden statuette of Ragata. Cool! But unfortunately, we can't take it with us. Perhaps this is good, because it would be difficult for us to jump with such a heavy statue in our inventory. Oh no, it seems to me that now we will fall straight into the clutches of Pomni. But no, we were lucky, and now we are going straight into the clutches of Kane. And this time, we were lucky too. This game made me scared twice. I didn't think you were so shy, but it's very good that we passed this test. Now we need to jump in this wind tunnel. I think you hit the jump button too early. Yes, I was right, and we didn't make it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because we can jump again. Cool. Now we go to the boss chef. It looks like Bubble and Gangle are out of luck again, and the role of boss chef is given to Regatta. Unfortunately, yes, but I think I should be sad because we can still meet them further. They changed this location and removed the food display. Well, let's fight against her now. It's actually quite strange to watch Bluey throw food at Ragatha. What's even stranger is that she run out of health very quickly in this map. Did you see her fly up and hit her head right on the ceiling? I've never seen such a boss death animation before. It looked extremely funny. It's also quite strange that in this location, instead of sliding down the hill, we were given high speed with which we accelerate. It's pretty funny. And now, we only have two tasks left before we see the final boss. By the way, I really hope they change the colors of the lasers. Yes, I also really like how the lasers in this challenge are different colors. By the way, the walls here are absolutely not decorated at all. They're just blue. But they actually change the colors of these lasers. Just look at this. They look like lightsabers from Star Wars. We found ourselves in the next test, namely in the bridge test. Cool, let's quickly go to him. They also added the Wheel of Fortune here. Wait, seriously, did they remove the bridges here? Okay, let's just jump on these platforms. Just look! This is a huge cane! Let's shoot food right into his mouth. In fact, it's strange that we fight against him with food and not some cool gun with shells. But Kane will finally eat some food other than digital. That is why I would really like to be in his place now. I ate lasagna yesterday and it was the worst meal I've ever had in my entire life. I'm actually very upset to hear this because I tried to cook it delicious. By the way, we defeated Kane and we finally beat this game. Unfortunately, we didn't see Gangle or the bubble here, but nevertheless, this game was very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. Just look at him, he's still trying to catch us. He's caught us again. Oh no, it's the spider chef, he caught oh. us. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from Papa Pizza's Pizzeria. Everything here is so disgusting and dirty. I would never in my life eat at such a pizzeria. What do they cook here from Skulls? Maybe he uses bone meal to make his pizza. So let's go down this elevator and find out where we're going now. This elevator looks very unreliable. I would be afraid to go down an elevator like that in real life. We ended up in some kind of basement. Look, human bones were falling out of this pipe and they were grinding. It looks like your guesses were correct. It's good that we didn't fall into this shredder ourselves, so let's move on. Oh, he set traps here. It looks like he was tormented by rats since he has traps in this place. 
I think we need to follow this pizza path. Do you hear these sounds? It seems to me that this crazy cook is running after us right now. We need to run without stopping so that he doesn't catch us. Did you see it? He actually ran right behind us and almost caught up with us. Well, we ended up in the sewer where the waste from his pizzeria is dumped. I wonder what kind of ingredients he has. The waste is so green. It seems to me that this may be something like cucumber pickle. Otherwise, I simply cannot find an adequate explanation for why this liquid is green. Wait, this is the same mirror. Why is this guy right in front of us? This is some kind of strange optical illusion. Well, let's find a way out of here. I think I see some kind of door. Look, there's a lot of cobwebs here, but how could she possibly have appeared here? Oh no, it's the spider chef. He caught us. God, he looks so creepy. Actually, we need to concentrate more on this test because it is really quite difficult to pass. Yes, this test is really very difficult because these webs are quite close to each other. Now you need to make the most careful jump possible. Oh no, he caught us again. This task is really difficult because we have already failed to complete it twice. I hope that Bluey will be able to pass this level the third time. I realize how I need to jump correctly. The main thing is not to move in this web. Great, I got through it. We dealt with it quickly. Now let's head down. Look, there is some kind of corridor with spikes on the walls. You need to be as careful as possible. It looks like one of the other players accidentally stepped on the platform. I thought that everything here was set up the same way as in Barry's prison break. And your completion of the test does not depend on other players. The main thing is that we pass this task and let's move on. Look, ahead is some huge rusty pipe with a spiral staircase. I think it will be quite difficult to climb it. The main thing is to take your time and jump as carefully as possible. Otherwise, you may fall down but I trust you because you are pro in passing Obby. For Blue Eye, it was a very easy change. So let's now jump into this pipe and get to the next location. Did you really just call her Blue Eye? Okay, okay, no matter what, the location was also pretty simple. Now let's go up these stairs. I'm very interested in what awaits us from above. Look, pizza again. We found ourselves in some kind of hall. Oh no, it's that cook again. We need to find a way out of here. Great! We again ended up in some kind of underground room. Well, let's get through this, Obby. Lasers! Oh my god! I think the creators of the game know exactly what I really like. I just love the laser challenge. I don't know why, but I really like the way they glow. It looks like this game is really a little beyond my strength, but I like the fact that it's so hard. Skeletons? Oh my god! I think this cook kept his victims here. Well, look, one of the skeletons has a crowbar. I think with this pry bar, we can open the door. You're right. This is what it says here. Find a pry bar to open the door. Well, we opened the door to some kind of elevator. Now we will press the button and go up. I hope we are very close to leaving here. Creepy elevator again. I'm very scared to be in such closed spaces. Maybe I'm claustrophobic? Don't forget that such elevators don't exist in real life. They are really extremely unsafe. Tess again, well, it seems to me that here you need to be as careful as possible in order not to die and move forward. These spiky things stay in one position for a very short amount of time. It seems to me that they are slamming right behind us. I think it's worth using a third person view and playing that game sideways. It will be really easier. The last test remains to be completed. Cool, I managed to do it. Let's move on now. Now watch, we need to get through these pipes to the very top. The main thing is not to fall into the shredder again, otherwise we will die. Well, moving along all the conveyor belts is quite difficult because they are constantly moving and human bones are constantly falling out of these pipes and are constantly trying to knock us off these conveyor belts. Well, this challenge is really quite hardcore. Wait, do they really want us to jump into this weird rusty thing? To be honest, it absolutely does not inspire confidence in me. Just like the fact that there is lava below us. It's good that this chain withstood our weight and did not lower us to the very bottom. Otherwise, we would have been boiled alive in this lava. Now we have to walk Abby on these rusty platforms right above the lava. Why is it that in all Roblox modes, the creators love to make the stairs too short? 
Is this some kind of additional task to increase the difficulty level? These platforms on the wall are so small. I think this will be quite difficult. I wonder if Bluey will be able to get through it all the first time. So far, everything is going pretty well. I'm doing well. Great! I did it! Now let's go upstairs. I think the exit is already very close. Now we need to run home! But wait, do we really have to run through this creepy forest at night? I think it's very scary. Why did everything go dark around? Oh my god, do you hear this voice? I think he's running after us again. I need to check if this is true. Oh no, here he is! He's caught us again! Well, I'm ready to admit that this game is really very difficult. Let's try to get through this scary forest on the second try. This is one of the hardest games I've played in my life. We need to try to choose the optimal route so that he doesn't catch up with us. Look, he's actually running right behind us. We just need to run forward to reach the fence that we can jump over. And here he is. Great, we did it. Just look at him. He's still trying to catch us. Hooray, we did it. Great. Here's the playground. Well, I think we finished this game pretty quickly. Now let's sit on this swing and move on to the next game.